Hi folks, Chris Gonzo Gondek here again for another NetApp Newsworthy Minute. Uh, I'm here today to talk with one of our strategic alliance partners, uh, Veeam, and I'd like to welcome from Veeam uh, the Australian New Zealand principal architect, John Wood. Uh, John, welcome to today's NetApp's Newsworthy Minute. Um, Thank you, Woody, Gonzo. <laughs> Woody, I'll start off by asking, tell us a little bit about yourself uh, and your role at Veeam uh, in Australia. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Chris. So, yeah, as a role, as my role as a principal architect or solutions architect uh, across Australia and New Zealand, I uh, help our customers, partners, and as well alliance partners uh, develop, you know, best practices and architectures, uh, integrating our software with uh, the likes of, of NetApp as well as uh, other vendors that we we also integrate with. So it's it's looking at just uh, outside of the data protection solution and how Veeam, you know, fits into an organisation and, and what their what their needs and requirements are around data protection. Fantastic. So while we're actually on data protection, we, we all know that um, Veeam is uh, uh, one of the many capabilities of Veeam's. Um, speaking of data protection and backup and recovery, what would you say is the number one concern around, um, you know, the sort of cyber threats that uh, folks are wanting to recover from these days? Yeah, so ransomware is obviously the number one uh, hitting the hitting the headlines at the moment. There's, there's been a lot of uh, recent cases, but you know it, it's been a building threat uh, for a while now. I think just what's what's happening in the in the landscape is that more of those uh, attacks are coming to light uh, and making the news because they're more impactful now than ever, and they're hitting bigger companies uh, that are that are required to pay bigger ransoms to to get their data back. Unfortunately, uh, so definitely ransomware is the is the key one. Ransomware. So, um, in your experience working with your customers around the world, in terms of uh, being able to be resilient and recover from a ransomware attack, um, what would you say uh, is the uh, most important capability to have to be able to reach those recovery SLAs? Because, as I understand it, a very, um, I guess, strategic uh, ransomware attack tries to go after the backup data as well as the primary data, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, like we, we've definitely seen the the attackers get more sophisticated um, as you know time goes on and and respond uh, in different ways and ultimately behind education you know and prevention you know your backup systems are your final uh, final defense mechanism to be able to recover from a uh, a ransomware attack so you know backups are being now targeted as you know that's that final that final place where your data can be recovered from before you have to pay that ransom so by by no means do we say that we prevent or stop ransomware we, we are that last line of defense to, to be able to recover that data and the only way that we can recover that data if uh if and when you need it is uh to make sure that we treat those those uh, backup systems as critical infrastructure systems because you know at the end of the day uh, they're the systems that we need right at the end, and um, and we need to put some um, barriers in place. And you know, immutability is, is obviously a key one around not being able to touch those backups um, or, or change them uh, as time goes on, because we want an accurate point in time uh, to be able to restore from uh, that hasn't been altered by anybody else. Fantastic. So that's a very key point you've touched on there, immutability. I think, uh, you know, you and I have both been in the industry uh, for many years and uh, worked with data protection solutions. So mm -hmm. in the past, when we used to write our backups to tape, tape would come out of a drive and sit on a shelf or in a robot somewhere. It was kind of treated as a offline, almost immutable kind of copy until it gets back in the tape device and restored from again. Now, we know over the years, uh, uh, newer storage mediums have emerged, such as object storage, um, that has been a very popular um, replacement for tape technologies for a whole raft of reasons. Obviously, we've got uh, uh, object storage is online, it's more accessible, we can do more things with our backup copies. But then from an immutability perspective, uh, we need to have some sort of uh, locking capability. And so, um, Veeam and NetApp have had a strong partnership for, for many years. And most recently, yep. uh, we've released our Storage Grid 11.5 solution, which is our object storage solution. And we have the, the feature known as object locking, which um, lends itself to mutability. Veeam, you're first to market globally to uh, natively leverage and support this feature. Um, can you tell us a, a little bit what that means for our joint customers out there and uh, this new technology in the form of immutability from ransomware? Yeah, I think you touched on it. Uh, you know, with our long history of of integration between the two two companies, and you know, I think one of the benefits is, is that as 
you know, the products mature and add additional capability, then, then both our customers benefit because uh, when uh, new capabilities is released from your side, you know, Veeam already uh, supports that technology. Uh, we supported it, uh, we brought it into our version 10 uh, release uh, so that literally via a, a checkbox, we can now uh, make the backups immutable uh, for a period of time uh, to meet your, uh, you know, your SLA outcome, right? So um, for, those, for those exact reasons that we want to make sure that the data is available when we need it, but also protected uh, for those, you know, circumstances where um, it is critical to, to get that data back in a, in, in a, uh, a manner which uh, can solve those ransomware issues. Fantastic. And so, John, um, uh, just in, in closing, uh, you know, we've, we've talked about the um, partnership between Veeam and NetApp and between our uh, technology integration points. Uh, obviously, what we do uh, isn't just isolated to uh, immutable backup copies, but this latest release of Storage Grid and Veeam's immediate support for it is great for our customers out there. Um, is this solution just tied to the data center? Uh, I think, you know, where, where we've seen a lot of customer requests come from is for customers that are obviously, you know, in the data center and, and want to make sure that uh, they can have and see uh, their copy of their data locally and make sure it's immutable as well. You know, Storage Grid obviously gives that, you know, uh, that ability for customers to have and own uh, that infrastructure and manage it from, from top to bottom. So there's, you know, there are obviously a lot of customers that, that want that hybrid cloud approach. Um, you could uh, definitely... Uh, integrate from, from outside uh, the data center back back on premises as well. Uh, so there's there's a number of different options uh, available. You know whether it be in the data center or you know coming back down from cloud as well. Obviously is a, is, is is another use case there. Fantastic. And uh, na naturally, as the, you know, these features continue to evolve, um, we're going to keep working together to find these new solutions for our customers around immutability, around air gapping, and just ensuring recovery SLAs. Recovery SLAs are no longer around recovery time and recovery point objectives. We're thinking about off-site copies. We're thinking about different mediums. We're thinking about uh, air-gapped immutable copies. And that's something I've always loved about Veeam with its three, two, one, one, one uh, rule. You've kind of taken it and extended it out to embrace these uh, these new types of threats and, and this new level of resiliency. Absolutely. It's it's not just about, you know, making sure we've got a, a copy of the backup, but it's responding when you do need them. So, you know, in the event of your entire system being wiped out, you do have uh, that immutable copy. Uh, and as simply as downloading a new version of Veeam, hooking it up to the storage grid, doing a rescan. There's no catalogs to restore. There's no, you know, uh, databases to rebuild from scratch. It's simply, you know, uh, connected to that storage grid bucket and you're able to restore using Veeam's instant recovery technology directly from that uh, that storage group bucket. So it's, you know, it's a really quick response time in the event that you are, you know, in a catastrophic uh, event. Fantastic. John, uh, Woody, um, thank you so much for uh, joining us on the, this uh, NetApp Newsworthy Minute with our strategic partners from Veeam. Uh, we'd love to have you back again at some point and uh, hear about all the other ways that uh, Veeam is addressing all these uh, different types of cyber threats. We don't know what's next, what's around the corner, but we're going to be prepared. Beautiful. Thank you, John. Thanks, Chris.